Hey friends, welcome back to Krusty Cranks. Okay, today we're going to do the Kasami Reaction. Alright, this is another one for Mike uh, Bandit VA. And uh, he requested these back when he requested the LG Bone. So, and by the way, I got a chance to fish the LG Bone. Uh, fished it hard, too, all day. Pretty much on and off. And I don't know, the wind was blowing pretty hard and just had uh had, we had a hard time staying off the bank so didn't do too good but my buddy caught one caught a nice three pounder on uh i say nice the three pounders nice from around here um on the uh on one of the little crawls little white pearl pearl white crawls i make so i was kind of excited about that and uh got some new molds to show you guys coming up so stay tuned we got some videos coming out but uh we're gonna do this kasami and uh i was looking at the picture i'll put the picture up right now and then uh i was looking at the picture and i was trying to figure out what what was underneath so there's a little tint of white on this bait and it's not real pre prevalent um really uh it's still transparent but it's not quite I don't think transparent white um it's some transparent but i think i'm gonna go with the pearl white on this to give it that white that little bit of white underneath now it's almost like the algae bone so i'm gonna go ahead and paint two of these it's almost like the algae bone but um at least on the top it is but it's got some some lime green on it it's got some orange on the belly a little different um but it's got this little hint of white cloudiness to it. You can still see through it. I could probably get by with transparent white, but I'm gonna try this pearl. I think this pearl's gonna gonna work out pretty good. I've no I've not painted one of these. So we're gonna see what happens. So I'm just gonna put some pearl white on here. Should have put a little more in there. Just put a little dab in there because I didn't think it would take much. But uh, so I'm gonna probably do maybe two coats of this. I'll put it on, dry it, put it back on again, just to just to cloudy it up a little bit. And I'm not gonna do the belly because the belly has that transparent orange on it. But I think they put the white on there just so the green. Uh, stripes can show up and I've already got a stencil made it's not exactly like the algae bone it's not exactly but I think it's a it's a good good enough and this must be a popular bait because when I was looking it up it was in stock nowhere so all right I'm gonna dry this real quick and I'll bring you right back okay got the i went on and put the second coat of pearl white on there i think that, i think that's gonna do it um it kind of it kind of covers the plastic look of the bait just gives it a little bit of a little bit of shimmer to it which is cool um i got all excited because i get excited when i'm painting a new bait trying something new so i apologize that i didn't even tell you what colors we're using and i usually like to do that so you can get your colors out if you're painting this um so we used some pearl white already. We got the pearl white on there. Um, we're gonna put a little bit of transparent green, uh, orange on the belly. It's gonna be very light, really light, as you can tell by the by the photo I put up. Um, we're gonna use some opaque black again on the back, just like the LG bone. And then we're gonna do the uh, Vallejo electric um, electric blue and intense violet. And then we're going to use the, uh, I think we're going to go with the Wicked Limelight Green for the stripes. Um, so that should pretty well do it. Um, that's the colors that's on this bait. Um, so I think next we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of the orange on there on the belly. And uh, it's just on the bottom of the belly. And uh, so let's go ahead and get that color in there. Yeah, I get excited sometimes when I'm... So I really enjoy making these videos for you guys, and I enjoy all your comments and and uh, you guys interacting with me. It's pretty cool. 
Um, so I appreciate all you guys. I really do. And the channel's growing like crazy, so I'm happy about that. All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of this transparent orange. And we'll have to turn my pressure down. I don't want to blast it. And I'm using my clips today for one of them. I'm going to put the black in. I'm going to put the black in and leave it in because once I do the do the Vallejo on there, I'm probably going to come back and hit the black face a little bit around the eyes and stuff. And I'm doing two of these because I told Mike I'd give him one and uh, send him his algae bone. So if there's a bait you guys want me to paint, let me know. I'll see what I can do. I'll take a look at it. Mike asked me this a, a while ago to do this bait. and Like I said before, everybody else was doing the algae bone. So I just wanted to lay back, but... I don't think nobody's done this one yet. All right. So that's it. We got the orange on there. It's very light. That's all I want. I want to still be able to see the weights through there. And then, of course, the, uh, The epoxy's gonna brighten it up, so. All right. And there again, when you look at these, it's gonna look like you like sprayed too high up, but really what it is, it's the light reflecting through, gives it that orange look up there. So I think that's what's cool, because in the water, you're gonna see that. The fish is gonna see that. You're not gonna see it, but. So, yeah, I got a chance to go out. I haven't been out for a while, other than fishing in the test pond back there but i don't really have many any big bass in there mostly all one one and a half pounders so got a chance to go out with my buddy on his boat to a nice little lake that's got some monsters in it and uh i'm gonna do another channel with me fishing my baits um it's gonna be the whole channel's just gonna be me fishing my baits in different places and uh you guys will stay tuned for that. It'll come in the spring because I'm building a, a boat right now. It's a 12-foot John boat that I bought. Um, I've had bass boats in the past. I've got a pontoon now, but I wanted a little boat that I can put in and out real quick and easy and just fish fish some of these lakes around here. One of them is just a lake where you can't put a... You can't put... Um, a big motor in so it's only got a 10 horsepower limit so we, i bought this little john boat and i got it all painted and uh i'll show you guys that um when i get it all done and get it ready and uh yeah got the all out the outside painted and getting ready to work on the inside hopefully by spring i can have her all ready to go and you guys could see me actually use these baits that i'm making because I can go out in the pond and I know I can catch fish from them. Because those fish out there are just, they hit about anything you throw in there. But I want to take these baits out to some challenging spots and catch fish with them. So, all right, let's, uh, I'm going to get this cleaned out, the orange all cleaned out. And I'll come back and then we'll put the black on and the, um, the Vallejo. Okay, let's get the black on here. And I'm just going to go down the back. I uh, turn my pressure back up a little bit. Turn it up just a little bit. A little bit more. If you notice your paint is not spraying smooth, 
it's either too thick or you don't have enough pressure. I always like to run thin anyway, as low pressure as I can. Gives me a better shot at getting a good, getting a good, good smooth blend. Nice vignettes. Trying to stay in the camera, guys. I am. All right, let's do a little pain on this other one here. I'd rather make more passes and get a better, smoother coverage than just blast the paint out there and not have any control over it. Especially if I'm only going on the back and just slightly down the sides. It's a good idea to turn your pressure down and just lay it on slow and smooth. I hope you guys are enjoying the patterns that I'm coming up with. Let me know in the comments, guys. If you can, leave a comment. That really helps out my channel when you guys comment. It means YouTube puts me out there a little bit more. That shows that people are interacting with my channel. I really appreciate the, the comments. And, uh, yeah, it really helps me out, so appreciate all you guys that do comment you know there's guys that comment every video you know even if it's just hey I like the paint I like the color I like the pattern I'm trying to do things so that all my baits don't always look like I'm painting the same bait all the time I always want to give you guys try to give you guys a lot more ideas of things you can do and especially baits you can sell if you're in trying to sell baits you go rolling in there with a bunch of different patterns people people buy baits for sure people get look all get all excited when they see all the different patterns you can do Just what I've found out anyway from going out and sell baits. All right, I think I got this guy. I'm gonna clean this up. I'm gonna no, I'm gonna leave the black in on this one. Let's go down a little more on the gills on each horn. Oh, not that much. I'm going to come back over it anyway, but I want to make sure that I get a little bit of that Vallejo to 
color shift on it. All right, we'll let that dry for a minute. Clean out this brush. I think I got a, I think I got a flake in there or something. So I am going to clean it out, but I'm going to put the black back in because I'm going to go back in the black. So, let me bring you back. Okay. Apologize if I was out of camera there. I looked and the camera was kind of low, so raised it up a little bit. All right, got a little Vallejo in here. I'm going to hit this. Get that, get that blue color shift on there. That's gonna be it, guys. That's all we need. And we're gonna come back on top of that blue with a little black. Just around the eyes. And a little bit on the back side. All right, back with the black and uh, had a little flake in there. I just want to dust this with black a little bit. I don't want to kill. Kill my blue. Really liking how that's looking. Probably doesn't even look like I'm putting anything on there, but all it's really doing is just deepening that up a little bit. I think I'm going to leave it. I like that it's got the blue and then when you kind of look at the side it's got that dark shad look to it I think we're gonna go with that all right this last color we got is the green the lime green so I'm gonna dry this real good because I'm gonna put a stencil on there and I'll bring you back I'll have a one side the stencil on and I'll talk to you guys a little bit about the stencils when I'm putting them on. Okay, we got the lime green in there. I already shot this side on the other lower, so I'm just gonna get this ready real quick. And we want it to be light. We don't want it to be really dark.
pretty close, I think. I think that's going to look pretty good. All right, let's get the other side on there. So if you're using these kind of stencils, make sure you stick them back on the paper. So that'll keep them clean. And I'm always got the eye holes, so that kind of helps me line it up. This one's a little, a little high, but sometimes you could just eyeball it on the body. They really all I'm concerned with is just around the stencil part. The whole thing don't have to wrap around the stencil. I'll move that one off the eye just a little bit because this other one here is a little high. And don't oversaturate them. You oversaturate them, they lose their, their stick quicker. I mean, I just want this light anyway, so. Just dusting it a little bit. Peel them easy. I know it's probably hard to see on camera, but if you look at this lure, it's very light, very light. So, there you go. So, we got one more side on this one. Sometimes it takes a minute to get them positioned, but you start off with the eye, it should be in good shape. And just rub it around where the stencil part is. Let's take it back on your paper. Good for another bait. All right. There they are. The Kasami reaction. I did go back with the, uh, just so you guys know, um, if you're painting this, I did go back with the uh, color shift and went back over the face because when I looked at the lure off camera, a little closer there wasn't any black on the face it just was that blue color shift so 
I went back and put the color shift back in off camera and hit the face again just to get it with the with the color shift just to get it a little closer to what we're trying to match so but okay let's get some eyes on it and uh let me pick out some eyes real quick and we'll wrap this guy up with some epoxy okay i went with the red eye i don't have any eyes this one has the eye that's looking down um and uh i don't have any of those in fact if anybody knows where a good place to pick those up put that in the comments for me i'd like to get some of the eyes that are looking down but i haven't been able to find them so maybe if you guys know who somebody you get your eyes from if you've been painting but uh these eyes are just the regular old red on red and black eyes and uh it's closest to what i have that's kind of match this lore but i think it looks good it'll look it'll catch fish i'm sure but And I didn't put any super glue on there. That's okay. We're gonna I'm gonna epoxy them. And these eyes kind of sit down in there anyway, so I think we're good. I don't think they're gonna come out when I epoxy them. But so if I use my tool here and mash them down in there, they'll be good. I'm gonna clean this up, get some get some epoxy on her, and I'll bring you guys back and we'll show you the final lure. Okay, guys, here's the finished Kasami reaction. Um, outside, obviously, again today. It's a little chilly out, but thought I'd come out real quick and get a shot of this finished piece. Looking really good. You can really see the color shifts in this thing as it goes around. Looks really good. So, yeah, that's what she looks like. The colors are... Uh, we started off with a little bit of pearl white just to give it a little tint. Then we used some black on the back, opaque black. We used transparent orange on the belly. Then we come over top the black with a Vallejo, intense blue, electric blue, intense violet. And then we hit it with that, uh, Limelight green from Wicked, and there you go. You can see it right there as it goes around. Sun's coming out a little bit now. Gets a little bright on that color shifts, but yeah, Bandit, there's your Kasami you wanted me to paint. And uh, hopefully I did, uh, did it justice. You can really see that orange now as it comes around. On the transparent bait really liking the transparent baits definitely gonna play around with some more if you guys like them let me know in the comments and we'll do some more different patterns different colors so anyway that's the wrap up of that appreciate you guys subscribing appreciate everybody that did the workshop this weekend had a great time if you'd like to get in on one of our stencil making workshops, go to lurestencils.com. Got the info and the registration form there. We're going to have another one set up for January after the holidays. So uh, if you want to learn how to make your own stencils and uh, you have a Cricut or you plan on getting a Cricut maybe for Christmas, hit me up, get registered, and I'll give you a full four-hour course on how we design our own stencils, cut them, make them, whole nine yards even some little tips and tricks and secrets that i use so appreciate everybody if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell so you get notified when we put up the next video and always remember stay crusty my friends <laughs> <laughs>